Explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Good day, welcome to my zone online school. My name is Priskan Ojas and I would like to welcome you to today's lesson. And we are going to focus on myself as our topic for this week. Before we go on, I want us to sanitize our hands. Can we dry them? Once we have done this, we have to make sure and avoid touching our face. We have to avoid touching our eyes, nose and mouths. Now we are ready. Today's lesson is about myself, who we are and about our different body parts. I want us to identify on this page three. Can you all turn to page three? I want us to identify if this is a boy or a girl. Is this a boy? Yes, this is a boy. Now turn to the next page. Is this a boy or a girl? Yes, this is a girl. Now we go back to our first page where we have the picture of the boy. I want us to identify the different body parts on this picture. I want us to point to, can you please point to the eyes, to the nose, to the ears, the mouth, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the legs, and the feet. These are our body parts. I'm sure you know all your body parts. Now we are going to go to the next activity. Are you ready for the next activity? Are you ready for our next lesson? Can you turn to page seven? Are you at page seven? Yes. Now on this page, we have to find out which picture goes with the other, what goes together. Now on the first picture, we have the foot. The next one is the toothpaste and the next one is the spoon. And the last one is a glass of water. We have to find out now which one goes together with the ones on your left hand side. Does the foot go together with the plate? Does the foot go together with the water in the tap? Does it go, does the spoon, uh, foot go together with the sock? Does it go together with the toothbrush? Which one do you think? The foot goes together with the sock. So can you take a crayon or a pencil and draw a straight line going to the sock? Now we come to the toothpaste. What do you think does the toothpaste go with? Is it the plate? Is it the tap? Is it the sock? Is it the toothbrush? Yes, the toothbrush. Now take your pencil or your crayon and draw a straight line going to the toothbrush. The spoon. Does the spoon go together with the plate? 
Yes, it goes together with the plate. So take your pencil or your crayon and draw a straight line going to the plate. Now we are at the glass of water. What do you think does this glass of water go together with? Is it the plate or is it the tap? Yes, it goes together with the tap. Are you ready for the next lesson? Yes. Are you ready for our next lesson, which is on page 8? Can you all turn to page 8? Yes, page 8. Now, here we have to find the match. I want you to do this exercise by yourself. I will do the first one for you. The boy brushing his teeth. Which one, which picture do you think does it match with? Yes, I think it matches with the toothpaste and the glass right at the bottom. Can you draw a line to that picture? Yes, now I want you to do the other two yourself and I will give you some time to do it. Wow, well done. I know you have got them all right. Now we will go to our next lesson, which is our body. And this lesson, I want you to take your pencil or, or crayon and I want to complete the rest of the body. And I will help you do it. We will all do it together. Take your pencil or your crayon and we will start. We go around. On the dotted lines, make sure that you are drawing on the dotted lines. Make sure that your pencil or your crayon is on the dotted lines. Going down around the fingers, around the fingers and up the arm. And down again on the dotted lines. Make sure you don't lift up your pencil or your crayon around your foot and there we go on the dotted lines. Are you done? I'm sure you have done a perfect job. Thank you. Now we've come to the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. I enjoyed it. I hope you also did. Now we're going to have a word from Sashi. We have to remember to sanitize our hands at all times and avoid touching your eyes, nose and ears. Have a blessed day. See you. Bye bye. <music>